The genre of idle games is something that wasn't developed the entire same way compared to other genres. In a racing game, you could say that all the goals is, you know, just reach the final lap at the end of the finish line with your car. But with idle games, you may end up playing something really weird like doing crossword puzzles. And that's great, because in a way, you don't know what you're gonna get into, but on the other hand, you don't know what you're gonna find either. But what do we mean by idle games? Basically, games that use idols in their mechanics. It might sound somewhat ambiguous since there are titles that do not specifically deal with idols but have a very similar system to some of the idol games that we know. So, to avoid that, let's just focus on the game that has idols as a focus, like name and definition. American Idol? Really? I understand what you're trying to promote, but why take it to video games? Curiously enough, we have three judges just like an Idol Master, and Jesus Christ, I hope that is the only comparison that I can make with this game. Although, maybe we can say that Simon Cowell is like a really good resemblance to the vocal judge. The game, far from focusing on idols, tries as much as possible to recreate the drama of the TV series, using Simon Says Judge and CD cutscenes. Which it feels weird because as far as I know, there's only 3D models per scene, but the cutscenes show a lot of people there. Feels like the empty world of Kingdom Hearts. So, what about the gameplay? It's totally awful. You only had one job. How can you fail to make a rhythm game which represents 100% of your gameplay? The button notes don't even coincide with the song's tempo or pace. Cause I have been told that singing on a heart of tim, please don't make too much of it, baby. There are no parameters in this gameplay except that you should choose a presentable costume to show to the judges, which I guess is remarkable. Customizing your character would affect the opinion of the judge, and that's it. But in the end, if you make a perfect timing with the notes, that's enough to get the approval of the judges or the TV audience. If you fail the notes, the song will be slightly pitched. But hey, at least the mouth movement fits with the song, so that's a good thing. Final note, the gameplay was terrible, but the cover songs were good. I guess most of the development was in the effort of the audio and the voices. So I can't recommend to play this song, or this game, if you are curious about the American Idol style, or you're just a hardcore fan of the TV series. Idol Wars Z. The developer is Edia. Balder Ace. Anything else? Mm, nothing notable. A quick note, there are two versions of this game. Both share the same save data within your single DMM account. The not-so-safe version and the unsafe Z version. The Z version outright has R18 content. You know what that means. Meanwhile, the not so safe version, while no contents are R18, may still be risky. Cleavage, spanking, yes, spanking, but <clears throat> just that. The game isn't fully voiced. Typical for games of its type, but at least the H scenes in some episodes are fully voiced. <laughs> Secretary has jiggle physics. Okay. Seeing the idol's jiggle physics would be nice, but they barely appear, so you can't be bothered much about it. The costumes are generally risky, and interestingly enough, if you look at their profile, they don't state the girl's age. Well, how ambiguous. No matter how young the girls look, you can always claim they're of legal age. <laughs> Not sure if the game explicitly says that, though. There are idol types, but the explanation is quite poor. Lovely, passion, cool. What they are for is probably just simple typing. No affection points or whatsoever. So statistically speaking, you can't build any affection with the idols. The story is difficult to enjoy. The story assumes that you already know the characters and just playing the first episode feels like it's very long-winded. Not as annoying as like other series, but at least other series like Bang Dream did a proper introduction to the characters. The presentation is drab too. And there's a mode where you can spank the idols with various items. This is not in the R18 version too. The gameplay itself, you know, dungeons, bosses, battles, they're all completely automatic. Asynchronous PvP in form of live battle, then Dream Festival. It's a Cinderella Girls clone to a T. CG is a 2011 game suited for a browser of games of its time. For a 2015-ish game, the game design is quite outdated. The game overall is just not that worth it. The songs are not even in game, no effort at making you get attached to the idols too. So why is this game surviving still even to this day? Let's see. Harem mode. Oh, the harem mode. 
The button can be seen on the safe mode too, and it can only be accessed in the Z version. In the Z version, there's a tutorial dedicated how to see the H scenes. They sure know the main value proposition of this game. Admittedly hot, but uh, ultimately contributes nothing to the character's value as a actual characters. The character's profile and how they're drawn are seemingly inaccurate. One 145 centimeter character with a good bust looks as if she's as big as a normal high schooler. Ugh. Conclusion, the game doesn't do any effort to promote the idol's personality. There are cards to roll, sure, but the tutorial doesn't even introduce you to anything you could produce. From an idol design standpoint, it seems to be a pretty blatant clone of Cinderella Girl's formula. The game's main proposition value is the H scenes. You grind to get H scenes. It's not a bad incentive purely from a game standpoint, it's just not worth it if you want to actually be intimate with the characters. Good for the night, but no value for your heart. I don't think the game is even trying as an idol series. Tokimiki Idol is a game I heard about a long time ago, and it belongs to... Konami. Um, well, let's not jump to conclusions until after we review it, okay? Stop talking about a dead series! The game has a decent graphics engine, although it lags quite a bit, but considering that it is fully in 3D, this game is very well done. In fact, it looks like it has VR support. Most of the dialogues in the game even have voices. And in this game, we take the role as producer, and even the idols call us that very, very well. Something incredible about this game is that you can customize dresses and accessories, like in Idol Master console games. In addition to the general costumes, each of the girls had their own personal costumes, and you can use up to four accessories. This is fantastic! Even the reactions of each character when changing clothes are sufficiently varied, and we can operate the camera quite freely, except, you know, obviously low angles. However, that is not all. There is also the function to make photo shoots, where we can also edit the clothing, the stage, and the expressions of the idols. It's amazing! It's like the Starlight Stage add-on, Starlight Spot. In the rhythmic game aspect, it's not that bad. The button's layout is nothing out of the ordinary. However, it presents a great novelty regarding the selection of songs, but aside the usual idol songs, we also have songs without the voices of idols. How is that possible? Turns out, Konami had the interesting idea of placing VGMs from old titles like Gambare Goemon or Gradius. Although you have to be like a bit of a boomer to feel nostalgic for these songs, since we are talking about decade-old songs. And next to this, there's an idol named Izumi Izumi, who, as a good aspiring video game idol, talks a lot about other Konami titles. However, since Konami is Konami, turns out that the game is dead. Not in the sense that it cannot be played, but in the sense that it has been a year without receiving updates. That means no events or new songs. And oddly enough, the franchise is not still dead. Konami still continues to produce CDs and there are still lives. In conclusion, it's not a bad game at all. It has, or better said, had enough potential. Too bad it didn't get any updates. On their Twitter account, content is still being uploaded, so if you are interested in knowing more about the game, you can find it there. It can be played without an internet connection, so I would recommend that you install it when traveling for a long time. <laughs>